Hello there, my name is Cy Rodriguez and today I was just thinking about eating and how it affects your health and um, and what people are really looking for when it comes to changing their their diet or their exercise regime and how they can really benefit the most and because I have been experimenting on myself for a long time now I've come across a lot of good information and I've tried a lot of things that have really helped me to change my life in a lot of ways that has made me to feel physically and mentally better now I want to make a little caveat here when I say better because changing things is painful it doesn't matter what you're changing there's going to be some level of stress involved and depending on the level of stress that it causes you you're going to go through some kind of a transformation and during that transformation you're going to probably do one of two things and that is you're going to quit and go back to doing what you were doing before or you're going to push through it and you're going to experience what it's like to be different now that's what it's like when you're changing your diet or when you're changing your exercise regime you're going to be doing things that you're not used to doing and that's going to put stress on your body and your mind it's going to have its good and its bad it's going to be kind of like a yo-yo at first because you're going to be feeling really good maybe after you get done with your exercise for example and then and you're going to have endorphins and you're going to feel like a good feeling like a high feeling that comes from exercise but then later on um, you're going to feel sore or you're going to feel um, your chemistry is going to change and you're not going to feel the way that you did when you were high and also when you're doing the exercise sometimes it's pretty painful um, especially when you're in the warm-up stages um, so there's always going to be stress and when it comes to eating anything that you change in your diet is is going to cause you some level of of stress especially if you're giving up something that you like so let's just say and you could take this into addiction for example let's say that you are addicted to coffee and you want to quit drinking coffee well initially you're gonna probably feel a little bit better the first after the first few days of not having coffee but initially you're gonna feel extreme pain and extreme almost sadness and loss because you're no longer using that thing that you like so much and there's nothing wrong with liking it it's pretty natural um, because of the way our brain chemistry changes for us to like things that are not necessarily good for us and that doesn't mean that they're all bad so I'm not here to say that nobody should have any coffee um, for example what I am saying is is that in that first period after not having it it's gonna be like you died because the part of you that loves coffee the part of you that wants to have it every day and looks forward to that in the morning when you wake up and maybe even lives to have that next cup of coffee is all of a sudden not getting what it wants and when it doesn't get what it wants it makes you feel sad and that part of you literally does die what you'll find out though is that your whole self doesn't die and after you go through that transformation if you make it through then you actually start to feel other things that you maybe didn't feel before like when you quit some addiction maybe you feel less numb you can feel yourself more and your emotions more maybe you feel like you felt when you were a kid before you had these kinds of habits for example so it's the same when you you give up different types of foods and try different foods so when you're you're looking to change your diet I guess the first thing to be aware of is that it's it's not going to be easy but you're going to feel better if you make the right changes so you just have to persevere through those hard times and when you come out the other end in your transformation you're going to feel better for it and I really wanted to address vegan vegetarian diets 
in this episode, but I think I'm just going to leave it at that for right now. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video, but what I would like to do is ask you some questions. And the first question is, what is it that you want to do? Like, how do you want to change? Why do you want to change? Do you want to do you want to become a vegan or a vegetarian? Do you want to change your diet in some way because you are looking to feel better? Is that what it's about? Is it because you think that um, somebody told you that you'd be better off? Um, do you not feel good right now? You want to get away from pain as opposed to like feeling better. You don't feel good right now and you want to feel better. What is the reason that you want to change your diet? What is the reason you want to change your exercise regime? Um, do you feel like you have too much fat on your body? Do you feel like you, um, you could just, you just want to look hot? I mean, whatever the reason is, I want to know what it is that you're thinking when you're thinking, oh, I need to make this change. Um, my guess is you just want to look and feel better. Um, and if that's the case, then I can definitely help you out. Um, but to know more specifically how to help you, I want to hear from you so that I can hear what your thoughts are about where you're at, why you're stuck, what exactly you, you want to achieve, and I also want to know what you don't want to achieve, what you're not looking for, what you're absolutely not willing to do, because then there's some parameters that I can use to decide what I can do as far as sharing with you to help you specifically. And of course, when I'm sharing with you, um, I'm enjoying doing this and I'm also learning from you and I'm not putting myself in a place of authority as far as saying that, oh, I'm the health guru and I know all about what is going to make you feel better and look better. Although I've learned a lot of valuable things along the way, um, I'm learning like everybody else is and I'm always experimenting. And so um, it's a refinement process and that's what I've done with my life and that's why I feel like I can help people just by sharing my own experience. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your questions and tell me about yourself. Tell me what it is that you want to achieve and why and what you don't want to achieve while you're trying to achieve what you want to achieve. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon.